But then we go to Belgium. But well, yeah, is it Belgium or oh, Hungary? I actually have to. Uh, I have to actually check the calendar because I really can't remember the calendar what what it was. <laughs> My moment. I'm watching with my phone actually, so. Uh, do, 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 you might have to skip, you might have to. So, yeah, next track was Belgium Grand Prix. We are Sir Nolan once again taking the pole position. Uh, Wangers qualified P2. Juani finished qualified. No, it, no, no, it was when qualifying. Yeah, well, after I, I'm gonna check. Yeah, so we as an Olin finished P1 in qualifying. Eric Salama P2, Zakat was P3, Wang was P4, Juani P5, Jesse P12 because the rain came out so early and I believe he was watching football or soccer, how you wanna say it, and he missed out the qualifying. He came a little bit too late and the rain came. In a race, uh, there was a seven, eight car crash. In the first three laps, including Zakat, Jesse, Mommy Papa, other drivers, so there was eight drivers just crashing with each other, and then first three drivers of Nolan, first four drivers of, and uh, somehow Juani jumped from like P7 to like P2 once again, so he was very good at the start, and um, yeah, uh, when we, Nolan, color, Nolan was leading. Juani was P2, Wang was P3, Eric Salama P4, but in the pits, Nolan crashed out and got disqualified for some reason, I don't know, while reversing in the pits or something, and then uh, Juani took the lead of the race, and then just uh, finished P1, Wang was finished P2, Eric Salama P3, but, but now, Juani got a little bit closer to Jesse, because Jesse DNF from the race from lap, lap 3, so, yeah. Now Vanguish was leading the championship once again by he won he was P two so and uh, now he was leading by five points because it, it changes a lot because it was in Austria oh no after Canada it was thirteen points but after Austria it was five points to Vanguish but after Silverstone it was again thirteen points because uh other one didn't make and now it's again five points to Vanguish so yeah and the next race was Monza Mon uh, Italian Grand Prix, where Juani took the pole position. He he was incredible. Eric Salama qualified P two. Uh, Jesse P three. Wang was P four. I'm a DP five. And Nolan didn't make the qualifying, and neither he did for the race. So the start was very clean for from all of the drivers. Juani just pulled away from everybody else. Eric Salama, Wang was, and Jesse were fighting for P two a lot. And then uh, Wangris and Jesse overtook Eric in the second corner. Eric dropped to P4. Wangris uh, drove hard with Jesse. Jesse went a little bit wide. He was P2. Jesse overtook Wangris, but then when he overtook him, he went to the sand in the um, corner where Weddell and Hamilton spun. And then Eric and Wangris overtook Jesse. And then uh, Wangris' tires fell. Eric Salama overtook. Um, and I also finished P3 in uh, Belgium. So. Eriko took then Wangris to uh, the um, la corner 7 and then just pulled away from Wangris because he had tire issues and uh, later on in the race uh, Juani was leading by a country mile Eric Salama P2, Wangris comfortably in P3 and then Jesse in P4 until one lapped car reserved to our Formula Fraser just uh, decided to block Wangris in Italy. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a clip from this because Body was away at at the time, and we don't have the clip from that. But uh, we know that uh, after the race, found out that Fraser was blocking Wangris, and then uh, Wangris lost five six seconds because of that, and uh, because he was blocking him for three four laps, didn't let him go. Uh, moved away like this. Uh, Wangris dropped to P three and Jesse to P two, and now. It was two po and Juani winning Eric Salma P2, Jesse P3, first uh, double podium for the Finns this season. But now, after this race, Jesse was leading the championship by two points over Wangris because uh, other got 15 points, other got 12 points, and it was five point difference. And now, 
Kuani was 20 points behind, so it was a three car race for the championship. It was between Kuani, Bangwish, and Jesse. And now we're going for Brazil, which I completely missed the race, but I go for the last laps. I tried to find it here. It was very incredible race. It's here in the ending. Hold on one moment. UPL F1 Season 5, race 10, finale of Brazil. Position and a big lock up on the front left for Mike Christian as he is still behind the Ferrari. Right, one Juani, here he comes. He's going to go until this is. This was P1, P2, P3, Juani, Jesse, and Wangus. Vanquish going to have to get past him here. The two lap cars getting in the way. But Vanquish is up the inside of both of them. And they've both got to yield. Surely out in this contact. They're out. Oh my god. And Van Vanquish is out. He is not going to do it. Oh my word. I cannot believe my eyes. The two racing points getting in the mix. It was the same guy who blocked Vanquish in Italy. Same guy. But at this moment, it looked like uh, Jesse was going to win the championship because 20 point difference to Juani. Who's going to do it here? It's going to come down to the last lap. This is one of the most craziest finales I've ever watched. Here comes Wani. Is he going to try it here? Or does he set it? Oh, he's going for it. Oh, my word. He can't quite get it done. He's got so much more grip, though, than the Renault. He's going to try it now on the skid of the ladder straight. He's going to go around the outside. This is for the championship. Unbelievable. Can he get it done? Around the outside. He's going late on the brakes. He can't, though. He's off the track on the grass. And Jesse hangs on. I have never seen anything like this before. Lankridge has left said he's done. He's absolutely raging. And Jesse just hangs on. Unbelievable scenes out. This is for the title between these two guys. Juani tries it up the inside. There's contact. Oh my word! And Juani. St oh no no no! This is not how we wanted it to be. Juani. Oh no! <laughs> what is going on? He lets Jesse back through. He knows he's done wrong there, making the collision. But there's still a racing point in the way. What on earth is going on? And this is still not over yet because here comes Juani. What kind of runnings are you going to get on Jesse? There's a racing point off the track. Here he comes. But Jesse wins the World Championship. Wow. Unbelievable stuff. The crazy race. It was between three drivers. Juani, Jesse, Wangris. They were all fighting side by side the whole freaking race. Lap 35. Lapped cars when the safety car left. Lapped cars of Fraser and American guy, but Fraser took Wang out once again, very unprofessional stuff to end the World Drivers Championship, and I have to say, Juani accidentally takes out Jesse, pushes him to the grass, if he just wouldn't have to lift up, he would have been the World Drivers Championship, so that was very amateuristic maneuver, because you have to take advantage, even though you cheat a little bit, you trick somebody out, you do anything to win the World Drivers Championship, but you don't freaking stop the car, this is not where first spot, you're not here to make friends, you're here to think about yourself, you're creating your own legacy Juani, that was your chance to win the World Drivers Championship, I know you did uh, professional stuff, you wanted to be a fair friend, but you don't do friends in this freaking racing league. You think of yourself, you don't let anybody else pass. If something happens, it gets investigated after the race. Jesse finished P8. Because of uh, Juani did that, he finished P4. He would have been world driver's champion by one point. One point, but he decided to lift up. Well, I guess that was the first hour strategy, but Jesse winning the World Drivers Championship in that season with a one up of Vangris and then Juani finishing P3, but very disappointed for Vangris because he was very strong the whole season, nobody believed in him, and he won 
two races in that season, but finished nine times in the podium out of 12 races, so that was incredible. But Jesse capitalizing the double point system in Monaco, without double points, uh, Wanger should have been easily the champion of season five, but... Yeah, not the, uh, we didn't have unfortunately many clips, only that one clip, but we just um, we, we just reviewed season five. We reviewed twelve races, uh, not ten races. I mean, oh yeah, twelve races. Yeah, a little bit scrambling. Not used to doing season reviews, but I was Eric did the season review, and uh, but still very incredible to see that driver like uh, Max Luca, uh, Zuckert, Hamilton. Uh, finishing outside top four, so your final championship standings between top four was uh, Jesse, Wangris, Juani, Eric Salama, Jesse Tony. So that was the top five uh, with uh, Hamilton being in championship with VP7, the, who was con considered to be the championship contender. Fletcher getting disqualified for the, from the season because he got kicked out. Uh, Zakat finishing in the last place, he got zero points from the whole season and did seven races. Max Luca finishing P9 in the World Drivers Championship. Uh, Nolan finishing P6. Um, yeah, so very incredible stuff. I was Eric. This was a long video. I'll see you again next time for Season 6.